How are you doing, Hython? You survived a serious blow. I am mending. I will never be the warrior Bassam wishes me to be, but I can serve my brotherhood in many other ways. With Kjotve dead, will you return to the south? We are going west, in fact. Bassam is a tireless crusader. Get some rest before you sit out, then. Injured men do not fare well on the open ocean. Of course. Thank you. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, returning to the snowy, cold fjords of Norway and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Like Red Dead Redemption 2, Valhalla has some legendary animals that you can fight. And in this case, I have come across the legendary elk. The first time it tossed me around like a rag doll. And it is very difficult, but then I realize there's got to be a better method. And this method, you can save Ivor, not get hurt by the elk, and you can kill the elk. So let's get on with this legendary animal quest. And on the map, I'm going to show you, it's located in this area here. And you can see it. The main quest is here, but there are two smaller sub-quests which I will cover as part of the Legendary Elk. Now, before you hunt the Legendary Elk, you're going to want to save just before you climb up the cliff to get to the Elk. And I kind of overcompensated the climb, and I had to come down on the Legendary Elk, which helps. You want to get above the Elk and come down, and I'm going to do the save. And then I'm going to fast forward to where I will show you how I fought the legendary elk. I up near more toward the peak of the mountain. And now I'm going to work my way down toward the legendary elk. You can see it right there. And it's immune to you because you're outside of the area where you would fight. I mean, they don't want to make it this easy to where you can shoot the legendary elk from a height and kill it. So now you're going to have to climb down, but I'm going to show you what to do next. Because if you drop down and elk of bloody peaks, you wind up the, you climb up here. And it says, oh, you're exiting the beast's lair. So you can't really shoot it. You can't harm it. But this thing will toss you around like a rag doll if you don't get to some form of high ground or some sort of protected area. Now, as you see, I dropped down, and I'm not going to engage the elk. It's going to be a little mad and angry. You can't shoot it because you're outside of its lair. Now, if you go toward the back corner, and I'm going to drop down again right here by the waterfall. You can see in the mist there is a small rock that if you can get to it and get on top of it, Fighting the elk will be extremely easy.
And there you go. Easy way to beat the Elk of Bloody Peaks. Now you get powered up with some skill points. And you get some rewards. There are the Elk Bloody Peaks head, leather, hunting arrows. But there is some more. Now, there are two hidden treasures by a hunter that are nearby. And if you look on the map, I'm going to look around. There is the... I'm going to pick up this. Oh, my rations are full. But, again, there's going to be some treasures. And i got to take a look around here on the map. You see one that's here. And then another one which is further to the, I guess, southwest. Now, it's around here somewhere. And stupid me, I overthought and climbed up to the top. The reality is right in these waterfalls is where the treasure's hidden, but I didn't go through and take a look. I climbed around and yeah, I'm going to fast forward to where I actually find the first treasure. climbed way too high to the top of the waterfall and now I'm working my way back down <clears throat> but this is at a pool just above the elk layer and if you climb up to it it's a lot easier instead of dropping down like I did now there's a little elk cove here and you find a treasure and a note the Treasure is leather and iron ore, which is great. And then the note says, Great elk is near, soon meet. I have killed bear by axe, wolf by tooth. I am a great hunter. I know no equal. Well, then there is the next treasure you got to work your way toward. Again, this pool is above the Great Elk layer. You could just climb up the side of the cliff next to the waterfall and get there. But now, the next treasure. And I healed myself up, so I'm going to grab these snowberries. Yep, whatever they are, cloudberries. And the next treasure is actually downhill from this layer of the Bloody Peaks Elk. You can see the little yellow blob. I'm going to jump toward it, and now i got to take a look here, a little careful. You're going to have to drop down to another level, and yeah, this cliff here, you kind of want to climb down it or drop down. I'm walking around here a little bit to figure this out. Either way, you got to jump down. I'm going to jump down here. And now there is a little cave entrance here, right here. And you have the next treasure. And you loot the body and read the note. I saw the great elk. I met my match. I await my death. Well, he died. Mr. Great Hunter died. And he did leave some silver, and in the looted chest, you get some more leather and more iron ore for crafting. Again, this is the Elk of Bloody Peaks and the sub treasures. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week, and you can hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you will be informed when I post videos. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, thanks for stopping by.